Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And there's something very interesting which is happening in the sky. Uh, this happens very rarely, once in 12 years. Okay. Uh, and I mean to say this Mercury and Jupiter, Mercury transit. Let me check the Panchang. Yeah, so. Mercury is currently in debility in Pisces and it will be there till 24th. Okay, so but the other planet of knowledge and education, <clears throat> which is Jupiter, is also in debility. Okay, so therefore, uh, Jupiter's debility will be there till uh, some time, of course. Uh, so, this is Mercury. Vikpanchang.com says it entered on 7th April, which is almost a week, and it will enter Mesha Aries on 24th, Friday, 11 13 pm, according to German time. So, for another 10 days, it will be in debility. And what about Jupiter? So, if I click on Guru Gochar, it says it entered debilitation on 29th March. And it will enter Sagittarius on 29th June 2020. Okay, so Mercury will be there for 10 days, and Jupiter is there uh, in uh, Capricorn in debility till 29 June, of course. So this this two planets being in debility uh, can give us this confusion of or the sense of hopelessness regarding decision making. So. Therefore, I see uh, many people, they have approached uh, different astrologers for consultations, for, uh, for career counselors, for uh, career guidance, relationship coaches, for relationship problems, health coaches for health problems. So, uh, because of the debility of these two planets, there, there's a possibility that uh, people increasingly feel the need to get guidance, okay? which is very good actually. But uh, today's video is not to tell you that should you uh, take guidance or not. So that entirely depends up to you. If you want to take guidance, there's no harm in taking guidance and there's uh, nothing wrong in uh, just letting go of things and being with the flow. So therefore, uh, what I want to share here is that, uh, see, even if you take guidance, before you take guidance in any matter from anybody, you have to you have to convince yourself first see uh, that it's not necessary that my life will change after i get this guidance so your life will only change when you implement the guidance that you get so many times i get people who tell me that oh i want a consultation from you or i got consultation from this astrologer or from that astrologer from Western astrologer, from Vedic astrologer, Indian astrologer, you know, so many, so many astrologers, so many life coaches. But then their lives don't change. Why? Because uh, one of the main reasons is that we we are not able to follow what the person has said, and this this happens with me also. I uh, when I do consultations, I get people uh, who come to me after three months or six months again back for reading in a different area of their life and then I ask them that my dear sir my dear madam uh, you had taken a consultation from me three months six months back so very good that uh, you want another consultation for your brother or for your sister for your husband or for your wife or for your children or for your parents that's perfectly fine but what about you what about the mantras and the other remedies that I gave you are you doing those remedies or even if some other astrologer had given you some other remedies before me or after me what about them are you doing them <laughs> all right and uh, sometimes i get this answer that yes i am doing them perfectly 100 percent. now i don't expect that we can do 100 percent, but at least we should try our best to do whatever is said the on a broader context okay so Therefore, during this time, uh, because these two planets are debilitated, so you will feel hopeless inside sometimes. You will feel that I don't know where my life is heading, where um, where will my life head after three months or six months, okay? So, 
the easiest way to know that is by knowing your dashas okay so you, you don't have to think that the transits are happening so i will always be like this no if your dashas are indicating difficulties only then the difficulties will persist okay so don't think that jupiter mercury is debilitated in transit so you will be headless no it's not like that but ha huh, because it's uh, in transit so you may get a feeling but what happens ultimately will depend on your dashas okay so you have to step wise analyze your dashas you have to do that in detail you should not waste time asking these questions my venus is in third house what will happen in mahadasha for god sake stop asking this question these are all filthy disgusting useless questions i know you don't like to hear it but you are ruining your life by asking these questions all right we do not judge horoscopes like that i have said 100000 million times but i don't know still even till today there are people who keep writing stuff my venus is in third house will i get married when venus mahadasha starts well you may get married you may get divorced anything can happen <laughs> All right. It depends on which nakshatra Venus is. Where is the nakshatra Lord? Is Venus exalted? Is it debilitated? Which house Venus rules? Depending on your ascendant, there are minimum ten factors to judge a dasha. Okay. So therefore, in this era of headlessness, of debility of these two planets, which shows direction and education and guidance, don't become more headless by. Uh, doing these things venus is in third house i will get married or not no it is impossible for any science to uh, any domain of astrology to predict that venus in third house now why i am saying this i don't know just <laughs> just came to my mind maybe i am also becoming headless because of this <laughs> yes mars in fifth house will it give me marriage no you you cannot find out like that you need to you need to analyze your mahadasha first then you need to analyze your antardasha your mahadasha lord is in a different house he is ruling a different house he is being aspected by another planet he is aspecting another planet then your antardasha lord has the same story then there is pratyanta all right then this is for vimshotri then you got jaimini you must analyze jaimini and yogini you must do that so whenever i uh, look at horoscopes i just don't not only me i i know so many other astrologers i will not take names but i know that when they read they will always look at vimshotri then uh, some look at narayan dasha also i i also look at narayan dasha sometimes if it is pertaining to somebody spiritual like then they look at jaimini then they look at yogi all right so how should you utilize this time this time you should utilize in going uh, because see the what debility means niche okay niche means it's like downgraded so don't do downgraded things like studying digested material all right so have a systematic study of jyotish learn from your mentor learn from your guru you can watch youtube videos you can watch my videos also i'm not saying you should not watch but what i'm saying is the stuff that you get in youtube is not 100% sufficient it it can see youtube astrology is good to give you an introduction to astrology okay which means suppose now for example in my case i have the astrology basics playlist so there are 100 to 100 then i have the omg astrology secrets playlist so in that there are 100 to 100 videos so like that and there are other videos so i have around 5 to 600 videos which can give you a good introduction to jyotish yes that's still an introduction so i see many times uh, astrologers do these blunders they say that uh, like uh, the other day i was seeing in facebook i won't take names uh, but uh, one one astrologer has started a course recently uh, i don't think that person is in youtube but he had just posted certain things in facebook uh, what did he post he said that uh, i am doing a beginner course in astrology and within 3 days you can predict within 3 days well uh, have you ever heard uh, any mbbs or any engineering school saying that oh, oh okay in 72 hours you can uh, start treating patients or you can start making it software in 72 hours have you ever seen or heard like this no nothing against anybody but what i'm saying is that as people we should not fall into trap zones like this Trap zone. I don't mean to say that somebody is trying to trap you and cheat you. No, I'm not saying that. 
what i am saying is you should understand with your basic common sense that astrology is a study of your entire life it is a study of your married life your career your health your sex life your children your husband wife everything is seen through astrology so how in the universe do you think it is possible to learn a science within one week two weeks or one year why do you even expect that i get people telling me that oh so astrology is so complicated well what do you what did you think before you thought it's just easy some nine planets sitting somewhere and giving results Venus in third house. You will get married when you travel somewhere. Yeah, there are people like this who uh, say like this. Venus in third house means, suppose I take a trip from uh, I am in Ingolstadt, Germany. Suppose I take a trip to Munich. So maybe I find somebody and I get married. So yes, <laughs> there are things going on like this. You 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 will feel it's so funny and so stupid to say like this. But there are people who are doing all this. There are people speaking all this and there are people believing also. So there was one guy who messaged me long back. This was like one one and a half year back. The, he saw in some YouTube video that Venus in third house. You travel, take a short distance travel, you might meet your spouse. Okay, and he said that uh, two weeks back he had taken a short distance travel from uh, Delhi to Agra. Okay, Agra is a place in India where you have this Taj Mahal, and Delhi is the capital. So Delhi Agra, yes, it's like short distance kind of. So he said uh, he was 29 years old and he did not meet anybody. He just came back to his home without meeting his uh, soulmate, his spouse. Okay, he did not meet the girl of his dreams uh, when he went to Agra, basically. So he was unhappy. Why? Because somebody told him that Venus in third house will give him this lady. <laughs> so therefore, uh, it's high time that. Uh, as uh, seekers of astrology, we have to understand that during these times, we must use uh, use this rare time when these two planets are in debility to study things deeply. We have to understand. We have to invest time. Many people tell me, "Sir, I don't have time to." Learn astrology, to learn, uh, to see YouTube videos. I don't have time to take a course. Well. I know where you are spending your time. You are spending your time in cricket, in IPL, in watching movies, Netflix. Yes, not doing any spiritual practices, not doing anything creative, just wasting your time, just wasting your life. I know why you don't have time. Okay, so before you lecture somebody on who has time or not, ask yourself where where are you wasting your time. Okay, so before you claim that you don't have time to study astrology, you should ask yourself, where in the universe am I spending my 24 hours? If you're sleeping for 10 hours, how will you have time for Jyotish? If you're watching TV for 4 hours and movies for 5, 5 hours in a day, how in the universe you will have time? Okay, so everybody can give excuses. I don't have time. He, don't have, he doesn't have time. She doesn't have time. But then... There are those few 1% who make it. And they are the only ones who will be successful in any field, not only Jyotish. You go and ask anybody. You go and ask uh, Sachin Tendulkar. You go and ask Shah Rukh Khan. You go and ask uh, Usain Bolt. You go and ask anybody. Or you go and ask Ken Rao, sir, the legend of astrology. What did these people do? How do they use their 24 hours? So, this is the time where we should figure out where we are wasting our, uh, where we are wasting time. Because when these plants are in debility, you may feel that, oh, nothing is happening anyways. It's just going headlessly, do what you want. Okay. So, therefore, uh, if my humble request to you is, if you are watching this video, I don't know how many people will watch this video. And I have not said this in any of my videos. I have 1000 videos in my channel. but if you are watching this video, please, please, please go into detail of astrology. Don't just keep watching superficial transit astrology videos. That will ruin your life totally. I'm not saying transit videos are bad, but uh, transit videos can only benefit you once you know what dashas you are going to encounter. I mean, what your dashas are indicating. Okay, And that is different for 7 billion people in this earth. So it is not possible for 
any astrologer to make a video on every dasha okay it's not possible it's useless it's fake actually it's just a clickbait it doesn't work which means suppose you ask me a question i have uh, i am leo lagna with mars uh, in third house okay and jupiter in the ninth house and i am running mars jupiter antar dasha so what will happen anything can happen <laughs> Third house, ninth house significations are one of them, but there are tons of things. Third house can give you short distance travel, it can give you document issues, it can give you success in visa inquiries, it can give you. Third house is the house of prostitution, also. Anything can happen. All right. It depends on the entire horoscope. So you should use this time to go into detail and understand how my planets are working in the divisional charts, not just. Fancy D1, not just fancy Navamsha or fancy Dashamsa chart. You have you should look at all the divisional charts and then you should try to understand what's going on. All right. And uh, then you will understand why uh, Venus in third house did not give you your soulmate and the girl of your dreams. Okay. Maybe it might give you the next time you go from Delhi to maybe uh, to Vrindavan, maybe. <laughs> But it's not necessary. Even if you get there, when you are going to Vindavan, you go and meet your soulmate there. It may not be because you took a short distance travel, but maybe there was some other combination which got active because of which you met. All right. So, therefore, my humble request is please, 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 if you are watching this video, please utilize your time properly to learn Jyotish systematically. Okay. Learn from a mentor, learn from a guru, learn from a teacher. If you just just keep hovering around, you know, watching YouTube videos, articles. I know you don't have to pay any money for watching all this. Most of them are free content. So that is why you like them. I know that. But the problem is, it's good to get an introduction. But eventually, if you want to become a sincere student of Jyotish, then you will have to take personal guidance from a mentor okay and as usual if you are not interested then if you're just interested in watching uh, useless uh, transit videos only transit videos i i don't mean to say they are useless but if you're only seeing transit videos okay then that is useless you will never ever in the next thousand years understand even what is going on in your horoscope this is my guarantee to you you can come back to me after 30 years and you can Tell me, maybe after 10 years, you will write down in the comments below for this video that, and that's what happens. I've seen people mail me, they say, me, sir, I've been learning astrology from uh, 20 years, learning, okay, learning, then I'm learning from whom? Oh, no, no, I'm just learning from whom? No, just learning from whom? No, no. <laughs> so you learn from a person, not from somewhere. There's no learning from somewhere. You learn from somebody, okay. So, 20 years they have learned from somewhere <laughs> and then they say, I still don't understand what my Mars will do in 5th house, my Venus will do in 3rd house. Will I meet my soulmate when I travel uh, to Agra or to Brindavan from Delhi? I, I still don't know. All right. So, therefore, uh, don't uh, embarrass yourself by asking these questions. Okay. And understand that there are thousand layers, at least there are five to ten layers within predictions. And you must, just like MBBS, you know, to treat a patient, you need to hog on like a donkey for five to ten years. Only then you become a doctor. Yes. Engineering, you have to hog like a donkey for four years, then masters two years. My God, I have done it. And so many of you are engineers. You have also done it. I know. We have worked like donkeys. Yes or no? Yes. I know how my engineering days were. Running around like dogs, getting sign of this teacher, getting sign of this professor. My God. And then when it comes to astrology, oh, Venus in third house. I will meet my soulmate when I go to Agra. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. So you can go to Vindavan. Uh, you can go to Agra. No problem. If you have Venus in third, these are great places. Okay. But uh, don't expect that you'll meet your soulmate in the journey. Okay, you you may meet somebody, but <laughs> I mean, not necessary that you marry them per, uh, personally. Okay, all right. So that is it from my side, and uh, I know this was 
lot of heavy stuff coming so therefore utilize this time properly and don't just uh, roam headlessly because if you do like this then you will feel more headless okay and uh, and many people will not like this they will uh, abuse me after hearing this video but uh, that's fine uh, you can abuse me no problem but you must hear what i have to say all right thank you very much and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me you can go to my website down in the description section all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him